so you can get quite a few visualization programs online many of them are free and the one I use and I think it's pretty good for my needs is Tableau Public of course also free and I use it to make uh, various kind of charts but also maps and I really like to make maps with it and here I will uh, just uh, show you a map I made in Tableau Public and I will explain the basics behind it so you, you can make this map even if you're a beginner even if you're not an expert at Excel or Word or anything like that you can still make these kind of maps because it's pretty simple you just need to move stuff around and need to understand how to move stuff around you don't need any programming knowledge at all let me first uh, I will first show you the map and then I will tell you show you the software and and then explain how I made it okay this is a map of country flags right you can see all the world all the countries in the world is this a country probably not but still in this list I found um, Svalbard was a country so whatever I had did to country no harm done San Helena also a country I don't know maybe this a country probably not right this is not a country but still it's a country in some lists and um, what we can do here is sort the flags for example now we see all the flags that have an animal on them here we see flags that have an animal on them Bhutan, Kazakhstan, Sri Lanka, a lion with a knife or maybe I want to see all the green flags This is all the green flags in the world. You can see a lot of them in Africa, but it's pretty hard to see um, which countries it is unless I zoom in. Could it make it full screen? It's a, it's a bit slow, um, maybe also because I'm recording, but it does work. Then of course you can zoom in and stuff like that. And also it's slow because there's a lot of images here and I will show you later why it is so. Anyhow, we're not waiting. Well, It doesn't always shine. Actually, I think I'll leave this in the video because you need to see that this software doesn't always shine. It can be really slow. Actually, no, no, it's not usually this slow. Okay, here we go. Now we see um, flags with green on them. You can see a lot of them in Africa. You can also click other countries, uh, other colors, black, flags with black on them. According to me, flags with yellow on them, flags by number. I don't know why it's so slow right now. Usually a bit faster. Now we can see all the flags that have two colors on them, or I can click another number, three colors, all the flag that have flags that have three colors on them. And uh, now let's go into the software. This is where I made everything. This is where the magic happens. So now we see all the flags with animals on them. And here you can see it with colors, countries being colored. It's a bit hard to see okay this this is one of them these are the flags here again I can see flags with ships then I just click ships now all these flags have some sort of photo ship on them and again bigger version 
And also here I made a dashboard. I'll probably change the name to actually dashboard is fine. Then I can click a uh, flag, Barry Island. Oh. And I can see where it is on the world map. So if I find a fancy flag, I can just click it and then see where it's placed. Okay, I can also add some Wikipedia links to it. I'll probably actually do that um, and add some text to it too to explain like what is it, uh, what can you see on the flag, maybe how old is the country, stuff like that. I can add stuff like that. I'll probably add it later. But now I will explain how I made it all. If you go to data source, you can see the Excel file I used. And this is how it looks like, right? So first of all, I got a folder from the internet with flags. So I just searched the flag folder and then downloaded the flag folder. And for me, it was kind of good enough quality, the one I found. Then I do like this. I have a flags on this side, text on this side, I also downloaded text. And then for, for each picture I have in the folder, I need to have a country name. So for the Afghanistan flag, I need to have the name Afghanistan. And then I just wrote what colors I can see on it. And then I can also add more stuff to it. Like later I can go to the ship list and then look, look through all the flags and see which flags have a, had a ship on them. Just like this. Pretty easy. You could also use uh, um, websites, but this Wikipedia article is not uh, complete. So there's a lot of information lagging here. So I need to kind of double check it to see if there are, there are some flags missing here. Great, so now we have an Excel file, right? You do this. Um, you have a list and then you have some categories. You can also have numbers, other kind of stuff. Numbers are really, really good for Excel, uh, for Tableau. Then you just open the Excel file in, uh, in Tableau and it will look exactly like the Excel file. But what I did was um, I clicked on all this and then I selected pivot and then it combined them into two columns. So instead of having like a ton of columns, you only have two columns. And I did this because um, then they can overlap each other. As you can see here, one flag can have many colors, so they can, they're overlapping each other. If I had a lot of these columns here, they will show here, as you can see. Then there will be, a, you will see one of these pills for each column. So I will have a lot of these pills and I didn't want to do that. Okay, so now you have, um, you have the country names from the spreadsheet and then it already knows it, it it's a country list otherwise if it doesn't know that you can always select it then I what I do let me see oh the dashboard is interacting with that's not good but anyway Still, maybe I should remove it. Okay, then I just drag this country. Remember this this country column from the spreadsheet. I just drag it over to into shapes, and then you can see it here. So these shapes will appear and then I go into the folder and this is the Mighty Blue repository shapes and then flags, all flags. Now reload shapes and then you, you just select the folder you need. I need flags, all flags, right? And then I remove the flags I didn't need. For example, um, flags for non-countries. It's a bit slow because I'm recording. Now you can see all the flags I have in the folder.
and then you just click assign Pele and then it will assign this country list from the spreadsheet all these um, singular countries that you can see here they will get a flag and what matters is that they are sorted alphabetically and also that um, it, it also sorts, sorts them by uh, capital letters and non-capitalized letters so big letters small letters it, that's the difference there but otherwise Afghanistan is the first one so we'll get the first flag and the first flag is also the first here doesn't really matter if it's called Afghanistan or number one number two number three but uh, they are sorted the same way Afghanistan is first Albania Algeria and in the flag folder it's the same right sorted the same way so Therefore, Tableau will just know automatically to do this for me. I don't have to select USA and then select the picture I want for USA. And um, yeah, you need to learn a lot of these stuff, these things, and then it will become super fast to make this, these kind of things. But this is super easy to make. Um, and you can do it pretty fast and you don't need any programming skills. This is my spreadsheet. I actually I add my spreadsheet to all my um, my these Tableau workbooks, and this is the Wikipedia page. And then also here, you can actually download the Tableau workbook, or you can download an image or whatever, right? And then you can um, play play around with it with Tableau Public. And Tableau Public is not perfect. For example, you can only save online and stuff like that. But for me, it works because I'm I'm a super noob, so I don't need like super fancy stuff. So only saving online is not really that bad for me. Let's see what I have forgotten. Yeah, it's also easy to make maps and stuff like that. For example, let's see here. This is the spreadsheet, right? I just open the spreadsheet it will give you country lists other lists okay uh, then I then it will build an automatic sh uh, sheet or you can click here and then remember the spreadsheet now this is the column for countries so I just click it two times here it is everything is automatic then I just click the colors then now colored and then I proceed from here for example do I want the countries to to be shapes I just select shapes oh and then I just oops like this is the flags now I wanted to ah okay I want a double country that's right so I double double up double up No, maybe actually I want to keep this and also adding colors. No, I don't want to do that. Colors. Oh, this is all. This is shapes. Country shapes. This is country colors. Okay. And then you just proceed from there. You can go colors country like this and then. Yeah, so if I want to do advanced stuff, it's a bit harder. For example, now the flags are under the colors. That's pretty irritating. That's not really what I wanted, right? I wanted it uh, the other way around, like this. I can also increase the size. As you can see, I'm just like playing around with it and then getting it to work. But once you become good at it, you can do it uh, pretty fast and pretty effective, much faster than me. Yeah, that was all. Thank you.